Welcome back everybody, I'm Andy with Blooms from HEB and I'm so excited to have this new bouquet at September. And most people don't know that September is Grandparents Day, so wouldn't this be a fun project for you and your kids to make a great arrangement for their grandparents? Um, or for your house, it doesn't matter, or for lunch if you're having them over, I think it's a fun thing. So yeah, we have a little bit extra in here, we'll have a little filler to it, but you can use this if you want to, if not, you know, you, you put it in a card, I think it's kind of a fun thing, but it is Grandparents Month, we kind of, that. it's just great, I think it's a great bouquet for that. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna, again, open it up, very easy, and then again, make sure you keep this, it's flower food, we're gonna put this in our water, um, again, it keeps our water nice and clean, um, helps the longevity of the bouquet itself. So it's a lot of a lot of benefits to this. So don't worry about putting aspirin and all these other things into it. Like, let's do one and go. Like, don't worry. Don't don't be crazy with yourself. Don't put all looking stuff up on on Google. So here we are. Again, I'm gonna move some stuff down. The bouquet is great. If you'll see, like you'll see here, we do different shades because it's, it's a nod to fall. It's kind of a soft fall feel to the September bouquet. And so you'll see some red roses, you see some yellow roses, you see some orange. I love orange roses, one of my favorites. So I chose this one to make it with because I think orange is beautiful. So again, it's kind of the soul and the feel of the bouquet. It has the same colors to it. And then I chose these really beautiful bronze palms to go into it. I think they're spectacular, one of my favorites too. Again, there's so many little clippings on this. You can put flowers throughout your whole house and little vases. It's great too. We'll show you how to do that as well. So again, same thing as before, leave the rubber band on, move some stuff around, move some stuff down. There's our Charmelia back from last month, if you were with me last month. Some Charmelia's in it. Um, yeah, we're just gonna move some things down. I love this Protea foliage. I think it's beautiful. It's one of my favorites, Safari Sunset. Color's always spectacular. Again, Charmelia in this will probably last a month or so because they're just hardy, hardy flowers. And we'll come here and use our technique we've been showing every time. And we're gonna cut it off for the vase. It's right around where the um, where the where it's done off with the rubber bands, so which is really easy to, if you're forgetting to do that. Um, you, again, you don't want it too short. I think most people either they're afraid to cut it too short because they're like, oh my gosh, because you can't go back. But most people leave it too long. Again, it's all over the place. It doesn't stay together. Drop it into our our beautiful vase. Again, appropriate vase size for this arrangement. We'll talk about this as we move on. And also we're gonna be changing this vase every month too. So again, you can buy the vase once or you can have a collection of them to use throughout the year. Next we're gonna take and we're gonna clean off and use our great stems of palm. If there's little extras, pull them off to the side. Again, fill little vases and to me, the palms are spectacular. There's so many different colors. I mean, look at these beautiful colors. I love this bronzy gold kind of feel to it. Just feels rich. It feels like home. It's almost like when you, for me, it's like when you eat like mashed potatoes and it's like that homemade meal that your grandmother made or your mom made. It makes me feel that way. That's how this flower makes me feel. It's like one of those like, mm, I love it. So we're gonna come here and again, clean off those. Again, we can use these. We can, I mean, again, I, probably, I have enough now for two of my bathrooms to have little cute vases in it. And don't be afraid, if you feel like it's too many flowers in it, you can, again, use a whole stem in something else if you need to. Again, you're the designer, and if it feels too heavy or too full for your liking, it's up to you. But I'm gonna show you the basics so you can actually get it right every time. I'm just pulling these off. Takes a little bit of time. I'll just pull them off to the side, but look at these gorgeous little balloons. And I love the different texture, like this little fringe edge. You have a regular, like a daisy style. There's so many different styles of palms. Most people, it, get a bad, it gets a bad rap, but I think the color is beautiful. So I'm not so worried about it being like that old fashioned flower your grandmother used all the time. So then we have our stems. There are seven in this pack. So this plus one is a seven. So this farm to you to table um, concept is basically coming straight from the farms, fresh, beautiful flowers and then they're going to go to you and you're going to make it for your table as a gift or for your house. So I'm going to take it here and I'm going to take four of those and I'm going to cut them the same size. Again, using my technique of pulling it to the side, cutting them off the same length. It just ensures that you're basically having evenness, but also you're not cutting it too short, but also it, it makes um, great symmetry. Again, I'll say it, beautiful floral arrangements is symmetry. There's a lot of math in flower arrangements. People don't realize geometry plays a big part in floral arrangements. And so people say, I'm not good with math. It's really easy. Four quadrants, beautiful. Symmetry, easy. So 
not making it too hard, trying to make it easy for you to understand beautiful floral arrangements. Again, I want you to be excited about making your own flowers in your house and you feel like a professional almost when you do it. And you're like, oh my gosh, I made that? Your friends will be like, you made that for your house? Like, yeah, I made that. So again, we have three more left and guess what? These are not that big, so I probably can add the three into this, but if I chose another style, like this fringe edge, I may only want to use like six or five. Don't be afraid to do that, but also I'll show you if you use five, do the four quadrants at least and add one to the center. Again, beautiful symmetry, but a different view of it. But these are not so big, so I'm okay with using those. And if it's broken off, again, I can still use this on the side. I want this to be like in this area, so I'm gonna cut those off about here. We'll add this in here, beautiful, easy, done. Beautiful, easy arrangement from farm to you to table. Come back and see me next month, can't wait.